Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, A to Z series, in which we're playing as the Lone Tree. I guess we're the only tree here in, what is this, Wyoming? Roughly Wyoming. Yeah, pretty much Wyoming. So, we're in Wyoming. We're led by Moonwatcher Sayo, a paranoid person. A paranoid recluse. Moonwatcher Sayo is an odd choice of leader for the Lone Tree tribe, but what she lacks in confidence, she makes for up for in preparation. Plans, fallback plans, stratagem, and counter moves are her world, one that she rarely leaves to visit reality. Her suspicious nature has kept her trapped safe from the outside world thus far, if that's possible, with Lone Tree not beset by enemies on all sides. She simply invent new ones. Huh. Way better just for Orgol's time, though. Effects of paranoia. Oh. <clears throat> when well, the leader is paranoid as Moonwatcher Sayo, or Sayo, the nation is bound to be prepared for any hostile threat that will come to its doorstep. However, this constant state of fear and dread of an invasion is breaking the morale of the people of Lone Tree and Mormon mission. A mission from New Canaan is present in our country, swaying our politics somewhat as they attempt to convert the populace. So, um, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues uh, Radio, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, Old World Blues Generic Decisions Revamped, and other items like that. Um, I do kind of want to go to War with Farsum, but as you can see, I've not really chosen anybody here very much for uh, general whatnot. Bullage Rushing Aranak. Her. Why not? We'll take this person. As long as they're not bad, they're okay, a cannibal. And uh, enduring. And inspirational. And an inspirational cannibal. But unfortunately, we have a unique Wyoming tree ish, roughly so, our origins. In the ashes of the old world, our only salvation was each other, the new gods. The blast waves through the old gods, and even their memory would be lost as the fall it settled. Uh, now nah, we're good. If you want to read about uh, our origins, please go ahead. Or I guess I'll just read it. There's not much here. In the ashes of the old world, our only salvation was each other. As the centuries passed and humanity remade itself, our people were brought together and united by one common factor. Our faith in our Lord, our God. The unity of our tribe. Um, I kind of like the unity of our tribe, our path. After the final shocks, or aftershocks and the end settle, the path that people must walk becomes clear. The new gods, a blast wave slew the old gods, and even the memory would be lost as a fallout settled, but not every memory of the past was discarded. New gods would be born from the rubble, and our people would find new purpose in their sanctification. The quiet. Um, with the gods and whatnot. Build a temple. I don't know. Tribute to the gods. Rise of mind. Get access to civilized tech. We need a thousand science points, which we can probably do. The gods are indifferent. The God great war destroyed the old gods, but in its shadow, a new pantheon has arisen. For centuries, our people have worshipped these deities, and for the loyalty, they have been rewarded richly. Our path. As the final aftershocks of the end settle, our path, or the path that people must walk, becomes clear. <clears throat> Two roads stretch out before one of isolation, shunning the old said world and all its horrors, and the other one of great risk, facing the new world head on, and daring to stand against its evils. What path shall people walk? Inward perfection. Outward expansion. So go with inward perfection, but we might not go that route. We might go with city life, which probably would be better in all honesty. Going alone. Um, I like the political power gain. Population's good. Impending apocalypse. Every cap for the army. That's not bad. Distrust outsiders. Age of strife. More population is not bad. We are basically literally just on tribal tech. Which is not good. Legendary Waste Centers, that's not bad. Um, Holy War. Sanctifying the land. I do like a research slot fast. The chosen land. Our lands are blessed with abundance and dangers. While it demands much, it gives generously in return. With outside rule, may continue to move and change. We know that we are right where we belong. Such like Pantheon. Soul. God of the sun, providing bountiful harvest and soft weather to lower worshippers. Terra, god of the earth, presenting a deep orbane and plentiful food to his followers. The quiet, embodiment of oblivion, darkness, and silence, consumes all who break his sacred entity. Which I like probably most Mesa. The god of the mountain, granting unwavering strength and demanding frugal living his devotees in Luna. Uh, the god of the moon, giving to his worshippers shrewd negotiation skills in an alliance with the shadows. Not attack. Well, in all honesty, there's not much we can really use here. I guess we'll go with Mesa. A better consumer goods, I guess, technically. Uh, sacrifice of the gods, holy autarky, the great climb, the worship of Mesa. We're in the midst of observing worship to Mesa and must wait before choosing a new deity. Oh. All right. Mm, I do want more political power went out too, so let's let time go on and see what happens. You know what? Just for the kicks, we'll do nomadic life. To settle down is to miss out on life. Our people understand this, and for as long as we've been a nation, we'll have refused to be chained by brick and mortar. A life of travels, one will live. Ask who will do city life. No man is an island. To drift apart is to invite danger that we can only face together. As one people, we shall build a society together that will stand firm during any storm. Sanctify the land. Sterile soil will harden this wasted world, our gardens. Um, 
work for the idol. Paradise is not built with idle hands. No matter our fortunes or favors, there will always be work to be done. Our people must know this and be ready to work for the common good above their own needs. Fruits of labor. The diligent worker sows the seeds of plenty. Our hard work is paid off, and every labor our people undertake is even the more easier knowing the great fruits that it is born, inheriting the earth. Some would say we have inherited a cursed land, but we have found only blessings. The shadow wreckage of the old world, not fit not even for a federation, can be given a new purpose, reborn to serve the new in the new in harmony with nature. And bountiful harvests. Our frugality has been blessed with abundance, our generosity with generosity. Thus is our duty to, sh to share this bounty to all of our people. Uh, veneration. The old world was vast and noble and powerful. We should not trespass on the ruins of those who came before us, lest we awaken a horror that was laid to rest in atomic fire versus improvement. The old world was vast and noble and now gone. We're not the past, we are the future. We shall take these fallen monuments and make something out of them. Even the greatest of those who came before would bow in awe. Well, we'll see. Like I said, we're a tribal tech, which is okay, but we're basic on literally everything, or we have nothing for these two, so. Not ideal, I would say. Very much not ideal. Um, so we're going to suffer quite a bit here. Uh, I'm trying to figure this all out. Asymmetric Warfare, to me, sounds like the best. Um, special Forces, Special Forces. We get Power Armor eventually, but it's not going to be any good at all. So, Asymmetric Warfare, Wasting Attack, just sounds like the way to go. Enforcers, you know what? We might be able to... That Enforcers, perhaps. Fighting Support Units, Infantry, and Special Forces. Is that considered... Enforcers, yes. Fire team platoons. You know what? We might just start with Ace Warfare. Screw it. Let's go with that one. And we're going to race down this way to get another research slot with new discoveries. We've been granted great knowledge of the world outside our world. But in the land of flesh and blood, we still apprentices. Mere insights into the spiritual guided journey of the material so that we may master both. Going alone. After much deliberation with the tribal council, it has been decided that the path of our nation will be one we walk alone. Without outside interference from major powers, we should be able to run our nation as we please. Rejecting their gifts. The first step of independence from those ever-gazing uh, hawks is a step away from the promises of power Ooh. <clears throat> and luxurious gifts. These things ring hollow and knocked against and so will only put us in debt to these oppressors in age of strife. These are no longer peaceful times. The dark clouds of war gather on the horizon. Whatever we part are to play, whether aggressor or defender, we must prepare for the storm. And I get strength of tradition. We find our greatest strength in our traditions. Those who have seen us through since our first settled these lands, in these first trying times, will find the same strength is sticking to them. Protect, protecting our people. There's no sense in saying your people to die in foreign lands, let us instead fight the, let the fight come to us, and let the blood of the fallen foe act as consecration for bulwarks and ready for war. If we're not ready to fight and die standing for people, then we will simply die on our knees. War must be at the forefront of our minds at all times, so that every man and woman understands the trials that will soon follow in the pantheon. Faith's last bastion is held in the mountains and deserts of this land, where the outside world, disillusioned by the apocalypse and death, has abandoned belief, we have cherished it. From the air we breathe to the soil we walk over, this land is home to the gods we merely walk um, or, uh, amongst them. A lot of the tribe members have been revealed that one of our people has committed the grievous sin of wealth. Though they try to hide it well, their home was filled with gaudy baubles and disgusting non essentials, that fell through in profanity the austerity of a great mountain. There is no question that these possessions must be dealt with, but how should we dispose of these riches? Give the wealth to the people. Gives what to the mountain. Uh, let's do that one. And here we're at, everybody. We're still at war with New Canaan. We've been trying to beat the crap out of each other, but we made it in a small little encirclement. They've gotten volunteers from Eagle Rock. Um, but hopefully, you know, these divisions aren't super strong, but we still got to remove them from uh, the game, pretty much. Uh, yeah, we're still not looking very good here. It's 2279. Uh, flamethrowers, lone trees, grenades. I want flamethrowers for this campaign. Nice. And look at that. Very good. Um, we got some terrain knowledge. We're trying. To, we're actually rapidly accelerating learning through this part of the tree here. Um, we're almost starting to get maxed out on what we can do here. So, in all honesty, the early game is more very very important for us. As uh, well, we won't be able to compete technologically within a few years. So, we best be moving fast and hard with everything here. So, I like that they're attacking us and they're losing. Yeah, there's new weapons of mass destruction, which is pretty good. Um, we did quite a few focuses here as well earlier, too. Which I've read before, so it doesn't really matter too much. But how about rating missions? If you want to do this, please go ahead. Sure, why not? We love rating missions. Uh, they're not doing anything there. All right, then. Just beat the snot out of them if you can. That would be great. We're doing all right. Um, six divisions. How about you guys go here? Take them. See what you can do. We're really here to beat the, down their strength. I would really like to make more encirclements. Let me here-ish where my mouse is. 
in the center of the screen. Um, let's see if we can actually do that. That'd be kind of very nice. The less divisions they have, the better. Always the better. Oh, pop them out. There you go. Oh, uh... Keep them in place if we possibly can. God dang it. Well, go in. You're all going in now. See what we can do. Yeah, as we're trying to increase the power, we got open attacks. Our need to stick to the shadows and strike unseen while devastating to an unprepared foe. Now, that also meant that we sacrificed many opportunities for a decisive pitch battle. While it'd be painful for the good of our people, we must consider fighting in the open when necessary. A concession can be made to the light. The shadows are true protection. Well, I didn't realize, I forgot that uh, the mood of the gods gives us 1.46 political power, so we can actually lose this a little bit. Um, I like more attack. We're attacking now anyway, so we might as well, you know? You know, how about, just help support the attack video and help them out there. Uh, you might find more success doing this, maybe. Going all in and around, maybe. Traditional army or elite forces have guarded our people for untold years, but they too are few and spread too thin to protect us all. As enemies approach, a greater alliance on the common warrior must be placed to protect us from the silence. Ooh, more manpower. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that too. And whatever the next one is, we are absolutely, positively going to, uh, Improve Minerva's opinion of us, or whoever's opinion on us. Just grab that one if you can. We're doing very well down here, though, which I like. Get down here, too. You might be able to make an instrument, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, well. Uh, can you do anything here, perhaps? Move fast enough? You might be able to circle two more divisions. That'd be fantastic. So we got a lot of this stuff done, which is awesome. Take heart. Yes, please take heart. Not Kevin Hart, but take heart. Hey, would you look at that? An encirclement. Who could have seen that one coming? We did. Keep going, keep going. Bravo would be nice. Last lodge. Uh... How many do we have? We have 12. 14. Eh, now nah, we're good. Strike from the south and see what happens. We're still doing very well. We'll cut them off too at Old Brigham. Nice. I need you to Old Brigham take their factories, take everything they have from them, and leave them absolutely nothing but depression. Oh, uh, how about you guys go into New Jerusalem? Ready missions are nice. Honoring the champions, sure, yeah. Replace local leaders with the legendary wastelanders? I think so. How about you go to New Canaan? That might help everybody here, you know? Maybe. And the fall of New Canaan, look at that. Hey, we got him. I think I might just end it there. We still need to spend a little bit more time building ourselves up and getting ready to go to war with Farson, because I think they want to go to war with us eventually. We have to be prepare ourselves for the White Legs, the 80, so we've got a lot of things to do here still, so. Hey, regardless, even though we've only taken out one person so far, and then usually in the second episode of these, we expand way more than the next one, so. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will do whatever we can with the rest of Lone Tree. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.